Hello crafty friends, this is card number 6 in full deck challenge number 2. Today's prompts are sheet music, black mark making, flower or flowers and the colour turquoise. I have some vintage sheet music. If you don't have this you can just print something off the internet. This is my black mark making and I'll show you exactly how to go about making this. My flowers are die cuts from the Essentials by Marlene die cut book. I'll put a link in the description below. And then the colour turquoise that I'm using is actually a shimmer paint by Dilutions. I'll first show you how I did the mark making on my paper. You don't have to do it exactly like I have, you can make your own designs. I'll just show you how I did mine. I'm using a piece of paper from an old book, it's actually an old maths book, so it's got lots of numbers which I like. And then I have a little bit of black acrylic paint and a flat small paintbrush. So I'm just dipping the paintbrush into the paint and making marks across the pages. Now you can make it as thick or as thin as you want, you can also water it down if you want it a bit more transparent. It really is whatever you feel like doing. For the next lot of marks, you're going to need a fine line applicator bottle. I got mine from a craft store online. They're also available on Amazon or eBay. They're just small bottles that'll hold your paint and they have a really fine metal tip. I added black acrylic paint to mine and then some water. I gave it a good shake and then I started my scribbling. I don't really have a ratio of water to paint. You sort of just have to work and just see that it's not too watery or too thick. So you'll have to play with it a bit, add a bit more paint if you've put too much water, add a bit more water if it's too thick and it's not coming out the nib properly. Just practice a little bit and it'll come right. Mine is a little on the watery side and it's leaving some blobs, but I do like the thicker and thinner parts of the design. While this dries, we're going to prep the card so we can start altering it. I'm going to start with my normal process of adding some white tissue paper as a base. I'm adding this with Mod Podge. This is just to create a substrate to add all our bits and pieces. Once it's dry, just tear off the excess. The tissue paper I'm using is the type that you'd use for gift wrapping. I'm now going to add a few pieces of my sheet music, just like collaging, just tear a few pieces and stick them down randomly. I'm just using a glue stick for this part. Trim off the excess with the scissors or you could tear it off if you prefer. And then I'm just going to put the next piece, which is my mark making. I'm just going to tear a piece that I like and I'm going to stick that also just randomly. There's no really right or wrong way of how you're going to add this. It's just how you feel it's balanced and it looks good and pleasing to the eye. Did you know that it's never too late to join in the full deck challenge? This is the second deck we're working on. We've already finished the first deck, but you can start at any time and on any deck. If you're on Facebook, do look for my group. Just search full deck challenge group. The group is a great place to get inspiration and give inspiration. You can also share all the cards you've made and it is the first place that I share all the new prompts and the tutorials. I would also love if you subscribed to my channel. I have lots of tutorials and junk journals and art journaling coming your way and this is the home of the full deck challenge. Don't forget to hit the little bell so you're notified every time I upload new content. I'm now adding my beautiful turquoise shimmer paint. I've just added a few drops with my fingers and I'm using a wet paintbrush just to spread it around a bit. I don't want the whole card painted. I want darker areas, lighter areas, and then water down along the edges. So I'm just using my paintbrush to move the paint around. And when there's a lot of paint on the paintbrush, I'm also just splashing it over the top of the card. And there's a few little droplets that are also coming through. I'm now going to see which flowers I'm going to use and where I'm going to place them. I have a couple and I'm not quite sure so I'm just trying both on top and I'm really liking the bright yellow one. I like the size of it and the color. I think it contrasts well with the turquoise so I'm going to stick that down again just with my glue stick. I want it to stand out a little bit more as it's the focal point so I'm using a black Posca pen and I'm going over the lines of the flower just to make it a bit more bold.
and then for the stem just the black acrylic paint and the fine tip applicator I'm adding some highlights with a white Posca pen and at the bottom as you can see this is how not to do it I pressed my finger to hold the card on the very wet spot of the black acrylic paint so it's made a bit of a smudge but that's okay I'm going to add a little bit of gesso just to cover that up I think gesso comes to the rescue more often than not and then just to balance that out because it's got the gesso at the bottom I'm going to add a small amount of gesso at the top just so it's balanced I'm going to add some additional highlights on the flower. I'm using a coral colored Posca pen just to make that center a bit more bright. I do like that color and I want it to pop. And then I'm also using a yellow one just to add a few little dots just to brighten the yellow a little bit more. I want my focal point to really stand out. I'm going to use the applicator bottle again just to create some simple leaves on my flower. And then I'm going to add a little sentiment to the top right hand corner of the card just to balance out the composition. Again, I'm using the black with the white print. I think this works really well with the card. A small amount of white just around the sentiment just to make it pop a little bit and not let it drown too much into the background or the black bits of the background. Let me show you a close-up of the card. You can see the beautiful shimmer paint and how it's got like a metallic finish and all the beautiful texture that's created by the acrylic paint through the applicator bottle. I really hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you were inspired to create your own and to join in my full deck challenge. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you again soon. Bye.